Across the bay, though, Mobile County Public Schools only encouraging mask wearing, not requiring it. State health officials are allowing each local school system to set its own COVID guidelines. Mobile County officials say they will continue to monitor coronavirus numbers, but at this point, no mask mandate. Classes begin Wednesday, August 11. Well, as parents wait for more decisions on what the school year will look like in Mobile County Schools, some hope for virtual options. WKRD News 5's Nicolette Schleisman is live at the uh, school district main office tonight. Nicolette, what are the uh, parents asking for and what's available? Well, the Mobile County Public School System says right now they are still finalizing their back to school plans. They sent out a survey to some parents and they say that the overwhelming response has been for face to face learning, but some parents are still asking for that virtual option. I don't see how I'm the only parent that feels this way. We are just 13 days away from the start of Mobile County school year and for some parents like Lisa Dixon. They're worried about sending their students back as a spike in coronavirus cases continues in the county. The only option that they have given us for sixth grade and below is to use the Alabama virtual uh, school bank. Dixon enrolled her daughter at the beginning of the summer for in-person learning. She says that's when things were looking much better case-wise. Dixon has an autoimmune disease, and while she and the rest of her family are vaccinated, her youngest daughter isn't old enough to get the vaccine. She's so excited. She's begging to go back, but now there's this new surge in cases. All I'm asking, begging, screaming from the rooftops as best I can is, why can't the school system offer us the same thing we did last year? Dixon says she and her family have been extremely careful and no one in her immediate family has gotten sick with the virus in a year and a half. If I send her to school and she gets COVID, then she'll be here with me. I'll be her primary caretaker. I do have lupus. I have been vaccinated. However, how far can I push the limits of that vaccine to 24 seven exposure, you know, for two weeks while my baby's sick, not to mention what if she gets really sick? And the school system says that they are still waiting to hear back from the state on some more guidance before they finalize those back to school plans. And they're asking parents for patience while they continue to do so. Reporting live in West Mobile, Nicolette Schleisman, WKRG News 5.